Hello and welcome back to the Quintin Group.tv. And yes, I'm your host, Jeff Quintin. So today's topic is talking about why a home does not sell or if your house has been on the market before and home isn't selling. Well, there's a couple reasons we're going to talk about. Typically, we're going to talk about the five most common reasons why a home doesn't sell. But before we get into the blog and the topic today, uh, remember, if you're looking to sell a home, simply click this button here and you can get a free market evaluation to find out what your home is worth. Um, look in the search for homes. You can search by clicking this button here. And also, um, you've got to search the MLS like a realtor. Okay, now back to the topic. So, the topic is the five most uh, common reasons why your home has not sold or thinking of selling and why they failed to sell. You know, today it's more than just putting a for sale sign in the yard, putting it in the MLS, and then hoping and praying that it's all going to sell. It doesn't work that way. Um, you know, it takes a whole lot more than that. I mean, if it happened that way, then every home in the MLS, every home with a sign on it would all be sold. But then that's not happening. So number one reason why it's common is the home's overpriced. Let's face it. You know, if you're priced in the market today, overpriced just a little bit or an unreasonable price, it just simply isn't going to sell. You're not going to get the activity. So we understand that. You've got to be priced right. Second reason why a home doesn't sell today is just the presentation's off. I mean, um, it, you know, it's it's one of those things, does it show well? Does it... Um, does it flow nice inside? Is it staged? Is it not staged? Just the presentation itself, um, you know, having it look well, neat, tidy. I'll give you an example. Um, people buy kitchens, they buy bathrooms, especially the women today. That's what they like, okay? So your refrigerator, you know, if your refrigerator has tons of magnets on it, get rid of the magnets on the front, put them on the side or get rid of them. That looks cluttery. You gotta make sure the presentation is nice, neat, and clean. Okay, that's the key right now. Simplify. All right, so third reason why it's just ineffective, um, you know, marketing tactics. I mean, so, you know, the properties today, they should be placed, obviously, priced right. Presentation's good. They need to be in the internet. The internet is where buyers go traffic. You know, when you hire myself, my team, and my group, we have over 400 websites syndicated to. All the major ones, Zillow, TrulyRealtor.com, you know, those are out there. It's Craigslist as well, believe it or not. Um, there's buyers out there all over the place. So the presence online is important, too, and that presentation is important. So you know, gotta make sure you've got a huge amount of internet presence, number one. The other thing is, think about, it's not just about internet presence, because a lot of agents have that. It's a matter of what these agents understanding the capturing of these buyers. When they come to them, how do they capture them, how do they convert it? Again, my team and I, you know, one thing we do is we don't let anything slip through the cracks at all. Um, you know, the other part is, you know, why a property isn't selling, it's just that, um, if it's in bad condition, yeah, the presentation's off, obviously, but if it's in really bad shape, you know, buyers today, uh, they'd rather buy properties that, you know, not buy a dump, I mean, unless they're specifically looking for a teardown or a big renovation project, but, you know, if something's in bad shape, they typically aren't going to buy it versus the ones that don't need any work and they're willing to pay more money for the homes that don't need as much work. And I guess the fifth reason why what I find right now is very common is many times sellers say they just don't listen. They're just not listening to the agent. They, uh, they think that their home is worth more than everyone else. They've got the best house that's always out there. And everyone thinks that and that's and, and whatever. It may be true, maybe not true, whatever. And everyone's got the best house, I guess. Um, but I mean, you gotta make sure that the property is, um, is uh, priced right. That's most important. Uh, that's the most number one marketing piece is being positioned properly in the market. Um, and then, you know, also, you know, as far as listen to the agent on the feedback, it's very important to see the feedback that's going on from the buyers in the market, the buyer's agents, what they're saying, and listen to the market, what's going on with supply and demand. So hopefully these tips have helped. Um, any questions you have, if you can help you in any way, call me. It's Jeff Quinton here, or me or anyone on my team, 609-398-5333. And as always, we look forward to our conversation being the best of your day. Thanks for watching.